and my usual two buddies coming along for the ride. Incoming! Whee! I love that bit. Yeah, well, it, there's... Uh, I've seen better looking planets in my time. Not particularly beautiful at all, in my opinion. But who am I? I am a spectre. Not a man with an eye for beauty. <laughs> or at least, not admittedly. I keep that side of me secret. Else my enemies mock me. Okay, first of all, gotta find a way out of this uh, rocky terrain. I think this is probably the way to go. Quite a steep incline. Whee! Oh! Uh. Yes, and in the last set of updates, I uh, was harping on about Short Circuit 2 and some of my childhood favourite films and yeah, I enjoyed reading some of your comments about what your favourite films were, your childhood favourite films. And it's quite interesting to see uh, the variety. You can actually pretty much tell roughly how old someone is by the type of films that they had uh, <laughs> posted. That wasn't my... The, what the hell? Why am I still moving? I'm trying to stop here! I'm bloody trying to aim! Bloody Mako's driving off into the distance! Ugh. I was trying to say that wasn't the aim of my <laughs> asking you to post your favourite films, it was purely for interest's sake. Oh, come on! Get it! Whip. Whee! Look how she slides across the floor! Whee! And how she flies as well! Alright, any more people can be mopped up on foot. Securing point! There's one more down here somewhere. Peekaboo! I see you! <laughs> and then I kill you as well. Oh yeah. Right, Rexy. I know you're gonna have a blast in here, so uh, I'll just I'll just make you wait a couple of minutes, just just to be nasty. We've all got our favourite guns on. Right, this one's for you, Koku. Not before I destroy you, you stupid woman! Look out for the sniper rifle! Barrier. I'm on it! Oh, what the, what the hell? Okay, this is going too well. Woo! Two in the air is worth one in the bush. I don't know. <laughs> Look out below, there's one right here. Oh, and down she goes. Oh, Other side, there's a couple more coming this way, so let's use some throw. Whee! Gara struggling with the sniper rifle there. Very well, secure. It wasn't pretty, <clears throat> but we did the job. Right, can we blow this place up? Is there some kind of computer to blow this place sky high? Maybe there's some kind of leader. He's gonna have to have some major diplomacy skills if he's to get out of me putting a bullet between his damn eyes. What is this? Actually, I'm kind of disappointing. I was looking forward to putting a bullet between somebody's eyes. Obviously not. 
You cautiously press a few buttons, and an alarm chimes. The optical database is flashing itself. Quickly, you copy as many files as you can to your hard suit's internal computer. It's memory wiped, the computer shuts down, the files are sure to be encrypted, but you've got time to crack them. What? What am I doing? Is that it? What? Am I missing something here? Seriously? I've encrypted a few files and that's it? Well, I'm kind of disappointed. I imagine these files would be useful for the Alliance somewhere along the lines. But I can't help but feel a little bit robbed of, of, of revenge. I want to kill somebody. I want to put my bloody assault rifle to somebody's head and blast them to death for this. To avenge Goku, but... Oh well. I'll have to settle for Luton plundering some flaming lockers then. Oh, maybe not. I keep failing the damn decryptions. I don't know why I'm doing this. I if I need these equipments anymore. But I can't help myself. I'm a serial looter. Any more for any more? Okay, right. One more, and then we're out of here. Oh, did I shut the door in their face? <laughs> that wasn't done on purpose. Come on, let's go see if the Admiral Hackett has something to say about these codes. I'm sure he will. Transmission coming in, Commander. There you go. Thought so. I think you're going to want to hear this one. Yep, go on, Greetings, punch it through. Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. Huh. <laughs> yeah. If you know something about Cerberus, you'd better tell me. I suspect I know less about Cerberus than you do. I am merely an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kohoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Huh. You know what? Well, uh, Admiral Koku is dead. And those files are in my possession. And I don't know you. So right now, I've got no motivation to turn those damn files over to you at all. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kohoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. Your deal died with Kohoku. Why should I help you? The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. No secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us, and you will be well compensated. Do you know what, buddy? I don't need your dirty cash. I'm a millionaire. <laughs> so, uh, screw you. No deal. My loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. That is unfortunate, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. Ah, uh, okay. Let's just hope I don't need something from you anytime soon then. 
Right, out we zoom. Because now we head to Vermeer, where I'm sure business will pick up. I don't know why, it's a combination of things in this game which, which, which make it my favourite game of all time. Just little things like that, the music, the, the planetary setting, some of the visuals. Uh, just, uh, I love this game. Anyway, Priscilla. Priscilla is a terrestrial world so small it cannot retain even a trace atmosphere. The surface is frozen and composed of magnesium silicates with carbonaceous deposits. In the recent past, a pirate band from the Terminus systems carved a message into the surface using ship-based laser weapons. In 100 meter wide Batarian symbolic, the message proclaims the military prowess and the virility of one Captain Zeish. A smaller postscript alludes to the questionable parentage of all humans. Interesting. Chloroplon. No information whatsoever of use. Jarfor. is a close orbiting hot Jupiter. Hydrogen helium gas giant with clouds of airborne silicate and deeper layers of sodium. In composition, it is extraordinarily similar to 51 Pegasus planet Bellerophon. One of the first extrasolar planets discovered by humanity in the, in the late 20th century. Despite its great size, Jar 4 is actually rather low mass. The incredible heat of the star Hock has caused its atmosphere to expand. In fact, Jar 4 is so low mass it is tidally locked to Hock. The temperature difference between the sunward hot pole and the dark side cold pole creates constant hurricane force winds. Nemata. Nemata is a terrestrial planet with a thick, hazy atmosphere of ammonia methane and a cocktail of other hydrocarbon gases. The surface is scorching hot, mainly composed of nickel with deposits of iron. With the density of 1.4 times that of Earth, it is obvious that Namata is rich with heavy elements. Mining could be extremely profitable, though the lethal heat and high gravity would make initial development costly. Given the political instability of the nearby terminus systems, investment is unlikely. And finally, the planet of extreme interest to us, Vermeer. Look at that. So much similar to Earth. It's a lush frontier world ideal for colonization by carbon-based species. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid tropical terrain. Unfortunately, the political instability of the nearby terminus systems has impeded colonization efforts. The high risk of raids by pirates and slavers makes it an unappealing homestead. 32 degrees average surface temperature, just a little bit hotter than Earth's. 0.9 Earth atmospheres and 0.86 surface Gs. A very, very similar planet to Earth. Inhabitable? Quite interesting. And actually, traveling to Vermeer, actually, sort of, when I first played this game, made me think quite, you know, extensively how it is extremely likely, in my opinion, that there is planets out there somewhere in this vast universe um, with similar conditions to that of Earth where other life dwells. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Oh my god! That was very close to the ground. Good. You got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Joker out. And it's going to be Shepard out for the time being because we've come to the end of this set of updates. We have finally reached Vermeer and we are hot on the heels of Seren, making our way to a Salarian reconnaissance team to find out what they know 
about the Rogue Spectre. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that next time. So, until then, I'll see you soon.